Hello, Rebel Division 5B G-Man. It is I, Chug Man Milk, your recapper today, and joined, of course, by Dr. Hep, as always. Hello. Well, that was game week six. We're now going to game week seven. Hope you all had a long and fruitful week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just lazy. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, congratulations all for getting like this done on time so we could actually record on a Tuesday because on Wednesday <laughs> I want to do pub and also have games to play. Uh, so without further ado, though, we'll get started and stuck in with the results of game week six. On the top, we yep. have the Skaven facing yep. the Dark Elves. 2-1, a victory for Zar Hugh over Haramul. Um, we, we, we said that this could be a game that swings either way, could be high scoring, but I definitely mm -hmm. think I, I backed the Rats on this because of that one, that 10 mover. Uh, yeah. And looking from the statistics on the actual rebel.net site, the 10 the ten moving now with Sprint as well, so he took our advice mm. uh, for the natural one-turner. He did score, so that, that piece will be absolutely the thing to watch for the entire rest of the season. But Zahi has now stopped picking up 1-1s and 2-2s and has started winning his game. So congratulations yeah. there to Zahi. Uh, it looks like the Dark Elves have the better time with injury, but the problem is that when you have that 10 moving sprint piece uh you can't you can't really out in you can't injure the scave into the point they can't do anything because they can just wait until turn 16 and then run it in on two plus two plus two plus yeah which is nasty yeah but... it's horrible <laughs> it's, it's the worst thing in the game uh probably then again it's but rats it's rats it's rats so um next game was a orc mirror between benny boo and raz mm -hmm. which finished mm -hmm. one nil in favor of Benny Boo. Raz yep. still looking for his uh, his his first win of the season, unfortunately. It seems, though, that Raz got more hits on Benny than Benny did on Raz, no, Benny, uh, according no, Benny, to the SPP. Benny got more hits because Benny made 62 blocks, which is probably oh, something to do with... Wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, but, yeah. But the thing is, is that more injuries were in the... Six, well, like, more injuries came forth, I guess, from Raz's mighty blow. Which is sort yeah. of the, the tale of two orc teams. We have a very kind of heavy guard and all other sort of stuff team in, in Benny Boo's team. And then you mm -hmm. have a quite a bare bones orc team, but with a few instances of Mighty Blow, uh, as uh, Raz does have. And although he out injured and out KO'd the poor orcs of Benny Boo's side, I would say the guard and all that, and also the edge up from from Benny Boo's side, probably did enough or did more to produce that 1-0 win. Oh yeah, I believe so as well. We have your game next. A 2-0 loss to the Lizards. Yeah, um, I were greedy. Um, I tried some shenanigans. I mean, he, he's a good player, Brestak. Um, he, yeah. he pulled a strong Lizard formation, scored uh, early or late, I meant. Yeah, uh, I, f I fucked up on turn, what was it, 8? My my turn 8, double skull. So, I couldn't do anything. Um, and he just walked in. I two-turned him, he scored a late score again. Basically a tale of what happened. But, there is one thing to say, which is... Uh, uh, the no deaths. Yeah, no deaths. deaths. Um... Me, I watched a, I rewatched the game with a mentor of mine, okay. sort of deal, and I got complaints. We stopped watching after turn five because then we realized what I did wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was one of those games. Right, right. Was did you did you try the one turner at all? Uh, yeah, two times I believe. Okay. Well, well every every shot I got. <laughs> yeah. Which was okay. I mean. I'm I'm fairly decent, half decent. I must say myself on one turning. Um, it's just hard when you have like few elves on the pitch. That is true. Yeah, what you need is like a, a, a move up elf and a move up catcher just to make it like easy. Yeah, a move up catcher would make it really easy. Or a sidestep catcher would probably make it just as easy. But in this, with I had and... that, but he got KO'd. Ah, rest <laughs> in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, so. Next game, we had a pretty brutal affair, actually. Uh, a 1-1. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think it, but 
there was a pretty brutal affair between animals, humans, and the Bretonians of Falkenberg. Jesus, that's a lot of breaks. A lot of breaks, yeah. Um, and more blocks from animals. 69 blocks compared to his to 46 on Falkenberg's, but one assumes Mighty Blow piling on did a bit more in terms of removals. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. We'll, we'll come to, to Animal's team, because he was kind of fretting about this in the chat. Um, but I would say 1-1 one, one after that kind of like one solid injury and in KO dice. Mm -hmm. I think... Uh, it's still a pretty re decent result, Yeah, right? Animal should be proud of that, I'd say. Animal should be proud of that. Uh, mm -hmm. Next we have uh, Umi's Electric Boogaloo. That is uh, the, 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 the Rich's T's human side yep. versus... King Can's Hounds in the Gash. Yep. Back from his uh, admin loss, mm -hmm. he has, has, however, gotten back straight to winning ways against a, a decent and very, very heavy benched team for the undead. Yeah. A lot of things to like chew through, but six KOs inflicted, two injuries inflicted, mean the humans are really popping off. Uh, definitely above the curve here a bit, because... While they got out blocked, it looked like by the hounds and the gash, they just did a <laughs> lot more that stuck. Yeah. And let's see if there's any sort of regeneration. And the only regen failed. Yeah, uh, we uh, we can when we go through the teams, we'll see who actually got hurt. Yeah, definitely. But you know, very good result there from Richard T. You, mm -hmm. you expect him to sort of win tough games. Uh, like this because of his, his strength of his coaching uh, yep. but I, I would say that the amount of chaos he got a tiny bit fortunate maybe Yeah. but speaking of high flyers uh, and great coaches the high elves have once again claimed a victory a 1-0 over to Nurgle yep. not the craziest thing in the world because as we said Nurgle will struggle against pretty much any team but especially a high elf team that's high flying like this yep uh, yeah, even though there were injuries and all that inflicted by the Nurgle team, it just doesn't matter as much if you have the insane players that no, exactly. they have. Nabla has. I mean, it's a good SPP hunt for the Nurgle, though, I must say. I mean, I mean, 7, I mean, 9, 10, 12. Yeah, 12 yeah, SPP uh, in one game. Yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, not the worst thing. I guess it is like a development season, but... Nevertheless, yeah. nevertheless, a another person falls to Nebula's fantastic campaign thus far this season. Yeah. And our final game is Bottle Plop versus Megos, a uh, necromantic team that's gone through the gone through the ringer this this season. And although yeah. Mego kind of did inflict some pretty good injuries, he did get kind of outblocked. And he definitely got outscored, which is a very unfortunate uh, thing for yeah. the beloved coach of this division. Uh, I mean, at least they got a level up on that flesh golem. Yep, yep, they did, they did, and we'll uh, so we'll 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 look at the team after. We're well, in a bit actually. We'll look at the yep. team in a bit. It's um, I don't nothing right now. In in terms of results. Kind of stands out as as That's oh, this a crazy thing. yeah this like this, I expected this to happen mm -hmm. uh, yeah. or I didn't I did not expect this to happen rather uh, which is yeah I mean it's 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 boring but it's it's fairly much like what we predicted but speaking mm -hmm. of what we predicted and, and speaking of results and this is a really bad transition but we'll now quickly go over <laughs> to um. Boo -boo. Leaderboard. The leaderboard, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. at the top of the leaderboard, Nabla, 16 points, 5-1-0. <laughs> fantastic yeah. record. Even if he loses next game week, he can't be knocked off the top spot. He is solidly in the playoffs. Yeah. But, um, however, second to fifth, <laughs> very, very tight. Drastak, Benny, it's... Falcon, and Zahu all in the same in contention for either challenger spot. Mm -hmm. Or even playoffs itself, they're still well in the race. Uh, whoever manages to topple Nabla would definitely, in, in, in their upcoming fixture, will definitely have quite, 
quite a hard advantage and quite a head start there. Yeah, uh, I would I would count the animal as well in there. Yes, of um, course, animal's not out. He's is only one point behind this the, the, this this. Main yeah, pack. exactly. And then below animal, it's starting to get harder and harder to come in there, right? Anyone um, below animal, I would say, is at best. Obviously, there's still a lot to play in the season. Still, like six. Oh yeah, or, very much. Still six or seven games or whatever. Um, but they, they, they would be more aiming for a challenger spot. Second is what I yeah. would say they would probably be hoping for. Exactly. Um, but if, exactly. You're, if you're below Richest T, King Can, and Borplop and Haramol are probably like the last vestiges of those, you can definitely do something still this season. Yeah. Uh, Innovation, you, Mega, and Raz are kind of on a development kick. For yeah, we are on a, definitely on a development tail. Uh, yeah. Which is unfortunate, but at the same time, hey, you can do crazy stuff and it won't really matter as much because yep. you're, not, you're not playing to get in the playoffs. It allows exactly. you to do handoffs, it allows you to do all these sort of things that might be risky in another game, but you don't have to think about it because at the end of the day, a level blitzer is probably worth way more than a win. Then, yeah, exactly. And um, you can also see it as a chance to um, F up other teams. Yes, I would still yeah. say that um, because you can still pretty much f up Sarah Huge uh, try to get to the playoffs or Falco Merc or Drastak or Benny Boo um, or Animal. Exactly. Or so if, if, I mean, if, if you if you live for spite, if you play Blood Bowl, you do live for spite, and you can absolutely, for example, stomp the Living Daylights out of um, and Zard and use ten movements, Gave and Gutter Runner. Oh yeah, very much so. Or Nablek, this uh, crazy thrower. Absolutely. Or, yeah. I mean, there's still options to hurt in the division, even though you're bottom to last. People will appreciate your your efforts, anyhow. Absolutely. So. Um, but those were the leaderboards for this week. We now go on to looking at the teams. Mm -hmm. We start out with Rich's T, but he hasn't got anything. He hasn't got any level ups in the past two weeks, so... Um, yeah. Unfortunately, Rich's team won't be covering you, but we will be covering Falcon Merc, who did get a single level. He got something kind of blocker, and he got dodge on that blocker. Yep. Which Rog is a really decent for 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 De uh, Bretonian's pickup because when he gets guard and stand firm, yeah, obviously he's still a little bit. Both down still takes him down, so you can both yeah. down him and like remove a guard piece for at least that yeah. turn. Um, but he is definitely heavily and, and, and strongly protected. And his natural progression of guard and stand firm is all the more exciting and amazing. Yeah, because even though dodge just gives him one less die on the block die to protect him versus... Yeah. Actually doing a 3 plus dodge when it matters, when you need a guard piece somewhere, it can help you out like Massively. crazy. Yeah, massively. You don't have to. You don't have to throw a reroll on it, especially yeah. with a team like Bretonians who, um, their 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 rerolls are expensive and they don't have many. Yeah. So, if for example the the guard the uh the leader blitzer gets knocked out, um, first turn or second turn without using a reroll, you're yeah. now stuck on two rerolls for as long as he's not in the fight. Uh, exactly. So. Dodge is always welcome, and definitely it helps with its natural progression of stand firm and, and guard. It so, does, it does. And also, the Blitzer, who is Mighty Blow piling on, is so close to tackle. Mm -hmm. Just four, uh, two casualties left, four SPP. Um, yeah. Yep, we'll Most come and see how... Happen. Hopefully that will get its level up next week, so it can become and, a terror of the And night. Same, same with the AJ5, he's just two scores and a pass away, or one score and a pass away, and two, or two passes, I can't count. Um, uh, to just get dodge and then be a menace on the field because you can literally go from three plus normal three pluses to three pluses as an elf team um, on a two plus instead. Yeah, even the blodge um, leader blitzer is one way from say if he wants more tackle, can be tackled. If he wants sidestep, and just have it be an, yeah. like a, a pest as well. The only, only shark heater is the one that's like a little bit behind, but hey, he's a frenzy piece, doesn't need to necessarily. Yeah. And he can level up at any pace that he wants to, but Falcon he's, Oak, he's, he's made to hit, not to level up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, his next team is is your pro team. It's my yeah, 
uh, we had a boring game, so we got boring level ups as dodge. Yeah, well, it, it's, 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 well, as we say, blood blitzers are really the thing, apart from like a really good developed catcher, is the thing that makes a pro team tick, especially in a very early league and TV yeah. setting. So, 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 so welcome now, my four bludge pieces, and three of them have sidesteps, so they bludge step. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I like them. I like them a lot. I love them a lot. Uh, yeah. But otherwise, and I have a really, really short throws with the throwers to level them up as well. So yeah. most likely going to happen next week. Yep, just one SPP on those. So developing yep. quite nicely. Developing quite yep. nicely. They're yeah, going there. We're, we're now going to go into Raz, who definitely got a level up. He got a level up on a thrower. He got Edge. Mm -hmm. Meaning yeah. that this piece is finally not useless. In addition, now he has... Has he always had block guard on that Black Orc? Or was that new? Uh, No, the guard is new. Okay, fantastic. So he's now got a guard, which makes his team a million times better. One mm -hmm. of those Black Orcs is really quite developed, which is always nice as well. So it's a useful yeah. piece. And the Edge up on the thrower makes it from a a piece which is kind of bad and you know everyone's like well, okay well, if I get an edge up on my linesman I'll just turn that into a thrower and now you yeah. have a reason to get the thrower the only way that thrower could be any better is if the thrower role was movement up um, or dodge yeah. even dodge is okay well, dodge is amazing I would say so we're Blood, talk... a bludge thrower mm. yeah exactly and, and now we're talking about Raz having a development season he has yeah. quite a few players that look quite nice for say uh, project players you know Yep. Move up is a project player. The strength up is a project player. The throw is a project player. He has quite yep. a lot to look forward to in his next few games, even if he hasn't been winning. Um, yep. His team's looking. Uh, it still needs more guard and blitzers because the, the guard, the guard yes. and the blitzers is the thing that makes the team work. But yeah, I like this team now a bit. More. Um, there there is some orc players who take block on the first two black orcs and then they take guard first on the other two black orcs, just so they can guard up more heavily. Um, it is an option, but remember, it's a slower option, and I mean that by like 10 games slower yeah. option. It, it makes them more, unless they're like the two guard ones only, the two only guard ones are always in a buddy system. Yeah. In addition to always having a, a, their flank protected by, say, a linesman, they'll be victims exactly. and they will just get knocked down um, on, yep. on easier dice. So uh, consider that deeply, Raz, wherever you want that. But we now move on to Halmul, who got a level up that he's not up. taking. But then again, it's on a witch. It might be codependent on its necessary or not. Because it is a wrestle witch as well. Yeah, I, if he rolls something like a double, he's like, should I take a double or whatever? Yeah. Um, fair enough. So so what do they get on doubles? Mighty blow? Strength? strength I, 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 yeah, they get strength access, essentially. And passing, but you won't be taking passing. Yeah. In this case, so, in this case, I would say because it's wrestle, mighty blow isn't as useful. Get juggernaut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, juggernaut on this piece would be scary. Absolutely, right? yeah, terrifying. Yeah. Terrifying. And then after that, getting leap. Oh my god, we are looking at the really scary witch here. Yeah, for starting to. For now, I would say you either go get leap immediately or go get tackle. For me. Yeah. Uh, I'm not tackle, a, leap, or you're gonna. I'm not a dark elf player, but witch elf getting wrestle tackle, pretty damn good. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully, Harmon listens to our advice. Otherwise, you know, you know, whatever. You know. Uh, Benny Boo's team is next. What have they new? got in anything new? Well, he's got an edge up thrower now. That's new, <laughs> I believe. Oh, uh, maybe. Yep, they both both yep. both, Bo both. <laughs> rolled edge up on the the throwers yep. this game week. Yeah. Yep, that is kind of amazing for them. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, they 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 rolled the one or two things that make the throwers not horrible pieces. Uh, congratulations, yeah. Benny, and also Raz. Um, the throw also means that that blitz that has edge up is a throwing play is like actually possible. It makes his two turning a viable strategy rather than hope that he can maybe do it. Um, yeah, exactly. And he have gotten himself a new lineman as his uh, dirty play alignment is out. His move, yeah, he took uh, a move down. And my advice to Benny on that is, 
maybe fire it because it can only go four squares. It's it's. Yeah. You know, that's not impressive to me. And you already have two mighty blow. Your removal potential is there. So the move four movement as a thirty player is not not a positive in my opinion. It no. it, it works it works for like necro and maybe undead teams, but that's because they kind of have to have that. They have no other choice. Uh, you might as well just cut the 20 extra TV and go get another linesman. They'll, they'll get, yeah, they'll I, get I, I would I would fire that one and rebuy a new one because you're also over the TV limit in gold. Yeah. Or the gold limit as well. So you actually bring that down and then you hope for uh, for the next game that you roll high enough so you can upgrade your stadium or something fancy. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Um, that I could agree be completely. a solution to that. Drastak is next. He yep. has a level up he hasn't taken. He's and it's the only level up he's gotten. Uh, yeah, uh, but last week he had a level up on Asaurus that he didn't take, and that was because it was a double. Yeah, he took dodge. Uh, yeah, it's a dodge. I faced that dodge Saurus. <laughs> it was nasty. It took like five hits, five blocks before it went down. Yeah, well, and that will get dodge, um, block guard stand firm and maybe even break mm -hmm. tackle which will then yeah. re-roll the break tackle automatically dodge on the is really quite nice um yeah that's good but in terms of the skink yeah we, we, we otherwise fire it. We, we, yeah fire it or roll double otherwise we're going to ignore that skink and ignore the rest of team from then on uh admiral didn't get any level ups no but we wanted but to talk about this we wanted up. to talk about this uh so Animal had enough money to buy a new Blitzer. He had a fresh Blitzer that died. Yep. Uh, which is alright. He took a niggle on his one of his guard Blitzers. Which yep. is a, a sad thing. Sad soul. In addition, he, he had an, an armor down on his thrower. Mm -hmm. And he, Animal was kind of like upset with how that game went. Uh, Understandable I, I, though. I think, I think he came around in the end. But just as a sort of like added like, you know... Uh, a word of encouragement. The, the blitzers do level kind of fast because they are fast moving and a three edge, so handles are quite easy. Um, although humans are a team, which is like every every turn can feel kind of like a, a rush, and you kind of feel like you're never in that much control. Uh, mm -hmm. You can still very much get Uther really level up to get guard really quite fast. You can yeah. even keep Gandalf for a game or two if you really want the guard uh, and the thrower. Yeah won't usually get a hit like on his on his offense on your offense you won't really be exposing him unless you really have to like things go wrong so <laughs> the seven the seven armor is not a massive deal and the four and the accurate which turns into a, a, a essentially a four edge piece on throwing means yeah. that he doesn't even have to be up in the fight that much he can stand exactly. he can stand back he can just throw when he needs to if he, if you're trying to play that kind of play. But even more yeah. so, what you could do is just fire him now and just use your catcher with four edge as the the carrier. Um, yeah. The thrower is probably the least important thing on your on your team in terms of um, what it represents. Value. Yeah, value and what it represents. The blitzer kind of sucks, but you'll be able to replace that. And we have a pretty damn good record of, of what is it, 3 2 one for Animal. Yeah, uh, something along those lines. Yeah, your your season will be yeah, fine. Yeah, three, two, animal. one. Yeah, so three, so, two, one. so take heart, animal. This this is all very easily fixed, especially for a human team. Um, that's my advice. Maybe throw, maybe get rid of the thrower, but it, it, it doesn't really matter if he's uh, armored down. It's not a big loss anyway. Uh, he can still be useful, and also the blitzer sucks that you've just lost with the niggle, but uh, he can be replaced as well. If you really need yeah. to, just spend maybe next game against King Can, uh, leveling up the Uther, maybe even uh, Bertie if you can. Yeah, and it's not over. I wouldn't say it's over just yeah, yeah, yet. Yeah. Your lineman is doing a fine job of grabbing those uh, levels. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And working actually as blitzes, I could imagine that, even though the blitzes are movement seven. Yeah, yeah. So, so your team is not fucked by any mean. I would say. Would yeah, say. this is no death spiral. Um, this this is looking quite okay for you. Uh, yeah. And you'll get at least like maybe an induced next game. So yeah, yeah. 
speaking about the spiral, shall we look at the dead team of the division? Uh, did you see? Did you see I, that? I did see that tra translation. I, I, did, I, did, I did see that translation, but we we're not we're actually not we're not gonna look at King Can's team because he's got no level ups. But uh, but he got an injured player. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say this. We'll, we'll say this now. Uh, King Can got an MNG to tackle Mighty Blow Blitzer. Uh, yeah, right. that, that's all he has got out for next game. So yeah. that sucks because that already hurt him in his, in his matchup, as as oh, yeah, as stated. Uh, but yeah, get level ups next time, King Can. Uh, yeah, I think Nabla, no, Nabla got nothing either. So we'll no. also ignore Nabla's team. His team still uh, looks he, amazing. He got an injury on a catch. Yeah? That is an MG, but that's just you know. yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's nothing. Was was that's was it a good catcher as well? No, it was the bad one. It was the fresh one. Okay, well he that means he so. can't level up, even though I've been shouting at him for like three weeks on this. Yeah, it, it's missing two SPP. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh, but we can talk about Mego's team because he did get a oh, level yeah. up. He did. And he got blocked on the flesh golem, which is very important. Yeah, I would say so. Um, but the block flesh golem will make him actually from now on. I would really see Mega's team as a threat because he's build he's doing everything he can to rebuild this team. Yeah. Um, which is kind of scary because he can he he's I could see a world where he's willing to sacrifice everything to get levels on his players, right? And I would say for Mega, you should probably do that because if your season's almost ended, considering how low you are on the leaderboard. Unless you're, yeah. playing, unless you're playing for pride, which is also a very valid way to play the game, uh, I would play for pride uh, because I'm just that kind of person. Otherwise, just go go heavy on trying to score on the right pieces. Do whatever you can yep. uh, to yep. get those levels. The, the greed in me says uh, play for both, play to win, and level up your players. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did Bolt Plop's team get anything? Uh, let me check. Yeah, I think he should have. He did. He, got... uh, he did. He did indeed. He got a very long legged man with a movement up. Yeah, he, okay. Movement up Blitzer, fantastic piece. Makes one turning very easy. Um, yep. To make it good as a Blitzer piece, if that gets rolls enough double in the future for Mighty Blow, then you have a fantastic mm -hmm. Blitzer. Uh, the Witch yep. Elf got block, which is pretty damn good because now you yep. have two reliable pieces. There's definitely yeah. a world where you go and pick up. Wrestle instead. Yeah, there is a world uh, which we saw on the other uh, other witch elf team or dark elf team. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with the Nurgle team right now because I got my door like knocking. So if you just look okay. at the Nurgle team yeah. and tell us what you think of it. Yeah, I can do so. Okay. So, uh, Innovations Nurgle team is looking healthier than ever. I would say, uh, ex part, apart from missing a rudder. Um, he got now two block uh, warriors. Uh, he had one last week. But now he got two. Um, the SPP farm that he got from last week is doing really well. And he's getting up there to buy his third Pestigal. Um, he's at the moment at six players. Seven, eight, nine. No, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine players. So he's getting two Rodders, a lone Rodders, for the uh, next game. Yep. So, yep, block nice. Uh, it's still developing. Season 1 Nurgle doesn't go fast. What can you do? But we now have our final team, which is now Zahu's team. It only got one level up, which was on a edge down landsman. <laughs> I mean, he got two, out. right? Because he got sprint as well. Well, yeah, he got sprint, as, as mentioned. Which is a good you, you said You said the level up was on the edge down linesman, but that's also what's happening. Yeah, it's another situation where the thing that he got last week that he couldn't report on was Sprint, which is a good pickup. Yeah. Like the Zahir. Yep. And yep. on the Edge Up Linesman, which hasn't been taken yet, Edge Down Linesman, rather, we would say uh, Kick or Dirty Player for me. Because mm. Kick helps him control the pitch, Dirty Player helps him when he gets a, a decent bench mm -hmm. to just take people off the pitch. Um, yeah. He might consider not taking the dirty player just because he wants to keep his bench as, as robust and there as possible. I I could see a world where wrestle is really good and make him into a, a LOS lineman with no uh, apo. True, but the thing is, is that 
I feel like I would rather have my wrestle piece um, a bit more Doing mobile. Doing stuff? At least yeah. a bit more mobile when the two edge doesn't really help that. Well, this thing is already pretty much marked for death because it's like two edge. So having yeah. kick or dirty player either lets him leave the pitch quicker and you know, yep. whatever. Or he's only there for like turn zero or turn 8.5. And mm -hmm. then he does his job. Then whatever happens to him happens to him, you know? Uh, yep. I think kick is a very massive and valuable pickup, especially for a team with a bunch of nine movement. That's what I would say. Uh, yeah. Um, don't forget to place that player on the LOS line um, whenever he's receiving, uh, because um, oh well, if you if you pick up a dirty player on him, I would meant not kick, um, as so that player can actually die and you can rebuy him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would yeah, actually yeah. almost look into it. I mean, um, if, if you give him kick, then you want him to live a little bit longer. But dirty yeah. player is like whatever. You know, he's so I think kick is the better choice here. Yeah. Kick and just use the living hack out of him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so that's all the teams for this game week. Uh, now we go yep. on to the predictions to wrap this up. Yep, 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 yep. Defense of the Anagrams, which is the Bretonian team versus Zara Hughes Skaven. Mm. High flying, the Bretonian team. A really, really good team with some amazing things to it. 1-1. One, one. Um, I still think 2-1 because although how much removing potential the Bretonians have has been amazing this season you still mm -hmm. have the, the one I have to say I, I always unless there is a team that has a little bit more to them um, yeah, you, you're you rooting for the Bretonians I, root, I wrote for the Bretonians but unless a team has a little bit more to them um, or has something that can say like oh they have amazing amounts of strength and all that I would still yeah. back generally the rats. And you, have yeah. to, you have to also think about it. The Bretonian team, if you look at it, very expensive. The rat team, uh, not so much. The rat team can get a wizard, and wizard is enough against certain teams to just win the game, especially when you oh, have yeah, the one turn much. already. So I think the rats would win this 2 1. This is a very important game, though, as well, as this is actually for the second place in the leaderboard. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, this is one of those games that you really want to win. So, bang on the boys. Yep, I I, I back uh, Zahi for this one. Next, we have you versus Rich's T. Uh, tough game yep. for you by any means, because one, his, his Ooh, yeah. human team is very good. Two, Oof. he's also a very good coach. Um, yep, 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 yep. How, what do you is is this the, the final week that you're going to vote for somebody else than me? Uh, no, I will vote for you this time. <laughs> Jesus, uh, you've voted for me every week, and so far I've lost everything except. Yeah, maybe I should stop plan. voting for you because I'm like, yeah, commentators cursing you just to lose your game. Yeah, I think it, that's it. Okay, well, R Richard T will win this by a billion points to nil. <laughs> Watch me win this five of nil now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just nah. dice the dice the living crap out of him. Uh, yeah, exactly. But I I do think that the amount of lodge you have in your team is enough to actually kind of help you over the line here potentially. We'll Most see. Likely. We'll see. He'll definitely be winning any sort of like bashing game, though. Um, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He's so gonna win that one. It'll, it'll probably be either a three-one to you or a solid two-one for him. Yeah, we'll see. I, I believe a two-solid, two-one solid for him. It's it's reasonable. Yeah. Our next game will be uh, Raz's right. Orcs versus Innovations Nurgle. Yep. I, although Innovation is a good coach and his Nurgle team. Has been losing, but had a pretty decent start to the season. I think he has. I think. Mm -hmm. I think innovation has a lot, quite a lot about him as a coach. Uh, yeah. I think Raz will pick up his first win here because Raz's team is now finally just coming along. It has more about it than, than a Nurgle team. Yeah. Um, it can definitely do damage to Rotters. It can do damage to Pestigors. I will yep, say Raz sure. here wins, one nil, potentially. I can see it happening. Yeah, I can see it happening. The claw mighty blow on Innovation's team could go and pop off, but we just don't know. I, it's, it's just yeah, I, I sincerely hope, actually, that uh, Russell's team will make it out of this one, because that claw mighty blow piece could actually really start destroying it, stuff. It definitely can, especially because it is claw mighty blow rather than just mighty blow. But exactly. as, as we've seen, mighty blow is a bit temperamental, so you just, you just yeah, don't know is, yet. Yep. We now finally have a Dark Elf 
off between Harmol and Bauplop. Uh, this is a tough yeah. one to call. It's a very tough one to call. Uh, but I will... Because Bauplop's team actually has... The, the high Agile Up. And like, the high... The, the two Agile Ups and the Movement Up, let's say. Yeah, it's like it's a really amazing stat freak team right now. Yeah. Uh, Harmol's team isn't a pushover. It has like guard, which is kind of necessary. It has an even mighty blow. Yeah. Two developed witches. But it's one... not a pushover either. So it isn't. The only thing I would say is right now, unless he buys a linesman, uh, he has or a runner even. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the price point is for runner, but he can. He he, he won't have a bench either way. Whilst I yeah. think uh, Bolt Pops did have a bench. I'm looking at the teams at yeah. the moment. Give me a second. Yeah. No, wait. One, two, three, four, eight, six. We well, can seven. get a bench. You, you know, Bolt Pop can get a bench yeah. if he so wants to. Yeah. Um, but if he does, then he's, he's essentially giving away a wizard, I think. So we'll see. This is a very hard one to predict. I would say 2 2. Yeah, 2 2. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. The next game will be. Benny Boo versus Mego. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, watch it. out for that wolf, Benny. Watch out for the wolf, Benny, but the fact is that the wolf doesn't have any block. So I still think, mm. even though it's Claw Mighty Blow, as we say, much like Innovation's team with Claw Mighty Blow, Claw Mighty Blow cannot, can, can just not f succeed at all. In addition, the wolf is frenzy, so they can get themselves into a lot more trouble than the uh, Pestagore, while also only, so. only blitzing on a... Uh, at three strength, or the Pestacore Blitz is at four strength. So mm -hmm. because because Benny's boost team has way more about it, although I'm always rooting for Mego to do well after the start of his season, I would say Benny Boo wins this 2-1. Yeah, Benny Boo, I believe, win this 2-1 as well. A pretty big game next up, which is Drastak versus uh, Nabla. Yep. Of course, if Nabla, as we say, loses, doesn't affect his position on the top of the leaderboard, only sort of it doesn't... Le lessens the gap a bit. But if yep. you want my honest opinion on who's going to win this, I would say the High Elves. Because although I think Drastak can pick up... Yeah, Drastak can pick up a wizard in this game. Yeah. The thing is, is that, one, the High Elves don't really care about wizards too much. And two, as I say, this, this, this team can do whatever the hell it wants. It's just that good. He has yeah. a bench, so even like the removal potential isn't there. And it's fast enough and agile enough that it can go skink hunting, even if it has, if it has oh, no yeah. tackle. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to say this is a, a pretty slow 2 1 for Nabla. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say the same, but Drastak, please, mate, give him a fight. Yeah. Yeah. You have to, like, try and topple the big man on, on campus these days. Yep. He's, That's he's, what I'm hoping. he's running away of it right now. Yeah. And our last game is Admiral versus uh, King Khan. We mentioned this yep. just before. Uh, I think Animal has a very good chance here. Although we have the really good mummies on that Hounds and the Gash team, the problem yeah. is is that a lot of their mobility has been kind of like evaporated for the the game week because of the loss of that mighty blow tackle white yep. to an MNG, which means the yep. catcher on that human team, the edge up block catcher, is going to be a terror in the night that can't really be like pinned down. Uh, mm -hmm. In addition, the, although there's always removal potential from the Hounds and the Gash because of that mummy, the fact is mm -hmm. the mummies also move three compared yeah. to six movement of the, the white. So I could see a world where as long as Animal doesn't get bogged down by the zombies, he can quite easily run past them with only the sort of ghouls being there to act as safeties. And they're kind of victims if he has his like blitzes go hunting for them. Yeah, I can see. I'm definitely seeing what you mean. So I would say two one win to animal, in this case. Yeah. Yep. I would agree that as well. And that was the end of the uh, predictions for next game week, and also the end of the recap entirely. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna. I wanna shout out real quick. Uh, don't forget the bounty board. Uh, don't forget the T-shirt. Turn sixteen foul. Shirt. Yep. Absolutely. All that information will once again be in the. Description, description on YouTube. below. Yeah, fantastic. But for now, it's me, Chug Mamok, signing off. Uh, thank you once again Same for joining me, Dr. Hep. Thank you. As always, a pleasure. And good luck to everyone for the rest of the game week. We'll see you again this time next week.
Till then, take care.